Hi Taurus, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your weekly love reading for November 20th through the 26th. This is intended to be a love reading for the sign of Taurus. We will see what comes up. I have pre-shuffled this deck, so I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment. But I do want to let you guys know that this is not a private reading, okay? So it may not resonate with you at all. It may or it may not. Well, interesting. I am going to make sure that this is, oh my goodness. Wow, it's zoomed in pretty good. It's, that's amazing. Okay, so when I started, before I even started shuffling these cards, before I turned on the video, I was thinking the flame is burning bright. So I don't know what that means for you, but take it into consideration. I have to tell you, the basis of your reading is the Six of Cups, okay? So, the past may be coming up this week, okay? Just have to tell you. Um, something from your past is probably prominent in your week. And the thing is, is perhaps you need to forgive something from the past, okay? We have some deceit. Yep, we do. We have some deceit and we have some challenges. We have some... Uh, difficulties that need to be overcame, all right? And I see that many of you are thinking about the past. Maybe you just need to let something go. I'm not sure. We're going to dig right into this. <clears throat> Maybe it has to do with love, a relationship from your past, okay, that you just haven't let go of. Or maybe you're thinking about somebody from the past and you haven't been receiving the communication that you desire and you're starting to grow weary, you know, you're starting to give up, you're starting to have doubt that this happiness is ever going to come, okay? And if, it's, if you're not thinking about a past person, it could be a past feeling of love, you know, that you had... You know, you had true love a long time ago and that feeling of true love. You know, perhaps you're feeling like you're never ever going to feel that again. But I have to tell you, for somebody that is watching this, and I don't know who because it's not for everybody, somebody has a door opening, all right? A new door is opening for somebody and it's going to be very unexpected, okay? This person that comes into your life, if you are single, is not your usual type, okay? They, um, they don't fit your usual bill, per se, okay? They're not your usual type. They may be um, more fiery than usual. They may be more um, outgoing than you're used to, okay? Um, Perhaps you've known this person before, okay? Maybe you've known that known them to be deceitful, okay? Because I see deceitful here, you know? And, and maybe you need to let that go, all right? I see that you need to broaden your horizons and look at things from a new perspective. Um, I do see wish fulfillment here. Perhaps some of your prayers have finally been answered this week. You may receive communication from somebody, Um that makes you very excited, okay? Because I see a new excitement, all right? I feel like the thing that you need to let go of is the past hurt, 
okay? You need to walk away from something that no longer serves you. And many of you have already done that. And I think the peace has returned to your life. And when that happens, your vibration raises. And I see that somebody is vibrating very highly, okay? They are. Their vibrancy is very apparent and it cannot be hidden, okay? And when you're vibrating that high, you are kind of like a magnetic force that brings people in. So somebody is ma is um, vibrating very high and they're pulling somebody closer to them, all right? They, somebody is probably watching you right now. Maybe they're stalking you on social media or whatnot, but there's definitely some observation from afar, okay? So just keep that in mind. Um, I feel like many of you have gone through a period of renewal, all right? And if you feel like you've been deceived in the past by a person, say, you know who this is, okay? I'm, I'm talking about deceit, and whenever I say that, somebody is coming into your mind, and that's the truth, okay? So whoever this is, I feel like you need to forgive them, and it's a time of renewal. People change. Okay, and I'm not saying, you know, that you need to go back there, but I see that somebody has really worked on healing and they've worked on being true to themselves. So if somebody has, you know, deceived you in the past, I would say that, you know, perhaps they've changed because that's what I see. I see like somebody has changed, they've healed and you, and maybe you need to give them a chance. I'm just saying I'm just saying, I know that I'll get some comments that will say, hell no. Okay, this is not for everybody. All right. So I feel like many of you have a new, exciting opportunity ahead of you. Probably it's not what you expect. Okay, so this is a love reading. There could be um, a, a love that pops into your life. Okay, that comes into your life out of the blue and there's been some hurt, there's been some deceit, or you know this person from your past. Doesn't mean that you doesn't mean that you dated them. You could have or you may not have. And maybe maybe twenty, thirty years ago they weren't a good person and now they've shown up into your life, you know, and so now you're you're thinking about it, you know. So that could be the case for somebody. I feel also like Mastering your emotions is a very big deal this week. So I think many of you have really um, worked on that and that you have mastered your emotions. You have left a lot of the negative behind, okay? Um, and you've brought the peace back to your life. Um, I'm going to start shuffling for the next pull. Um, With the Lover's card down here, this is a Gemini. We have Gemini, we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, we have uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So I believe we have them all. We have all the signs. So it really doesn't matter. You know, it really doesn't matter what sign it is. But I, I feel like you are being watched from afar. Somebody is interested in, it's probably somebody from your past, okay? And it doesn't mean that you dated them in the past. When I say it's somebody from your past, it's somebody that you have known before, okay? You've known them, all right? Um, but I see an exciting new opportunity that tells me to tell you to act on your hunches, Maybe you, maybe it's time for you to take an adventure, okay? Because I see that, you know, you should probably give it a whirl. That's what I see, all right? Um, accept the dare. Okay, so now let's get back to that lover's card. When the lover's card comes out, um, it could be a soulmate, all right? Could be some um, person that is very seductive, all right? This could be a union that is very magnetic, all right? Now, the thing is, when you, the lover's card comes out, be open to people not being who you would usually choose, okay? When this card comes out, it means that somebody might enter your life that 
you would normally never even look at. That's what this is. And that's what I see. Okay. But you have a dare here. Do you dare to accept this? Maybe they're here to teach you something new. Okay. Maybe they're going to light your fire. Because I see the, uh, I see a fiery, passionate, exciting um, time. You know what I mean? So, you know, in this new love, if you're single, and if this reading is for you, you know, this new love comes in and it's very odd, you know, perhaps you want to, you might want to give it a whirl. I mean, that's what I see. There is forgiveness here. Somebody needs to forgive because this is forgiveness. This is the three of swords. So maybe you need to forgive somebody for their past deceit. You know, and that doesn't mean you need to take them back. That means you need to free yourself mentally. Okay. So if somebody has deceived you in the past, you may be feeling cold hearted. You may be feeling like, you know, what? I don't want anybody. I've been deceived. I can't trust. Okay, and this tells me that you need to let go of those feelings of distrust. Okay, it's time to really heal so that your wishes will be fulfilled. Fulfilled. Okay, you have to let go of the past so that your wishes in the future can be fulfilled. Whatever deceit there was, whatever lies there were, let them go. Okay, stop denying the truth that you need to let go you can you can remove yourself from this situation of fear you know you can remove yourself from feeling like a victim at any moment you can all you have to do is walk away walk away from fear walk away from the past so that new love can come in, okay? There could be a new love entering your life, all right? A new welling of emotion. But you're going to have to forgive something before that happens, all right? We do have you here, Taurus, that represents Taurus, following your own path. Listening to your inner guide. Believe in yourself. Whatever inner conflicts you have going on, they're petty. It's petty. Remember that people evolve. Okay, people evolve and they change. Lies change people. Both people. It changes the liar and it changes the person that was lied to, okay? Usually, eventually, people get it, okay? Eventually. So if somebody is, I'm just saying, if somebody enters your life that you've known before, okay, and they have hurt you in the past or you've seen them hurt somebody else, you know, they have a reputation, all right? Realize that people evolve. Hurt changes people. Wow. All right, I'm going to get another one. So this week, somebody from your past, maybe somebody you went to school with, maybe somebody you knew from your childhood, maybe somebody you dated, and maybe even somebody from a past life could come into your life out of the blue. And you may, they may not be your usual type, okay? And they, you may, they may have a bad reputation. <laughs> you know, they may have a bad reputation, or they may have had a bad reputation 30 years ago, I'm just saying. I feel like this, somebody has done something bad in the past, so you may be feeling like, 
I can't trust this person. But we do have the lover's card here that says, be prepared to live with the consequences of your decision because you could make the wrong decision. You know, you could. Really think twice. You need to forgive something, okay? You do. Something needs to be forgiven. It's time to let go. It's time to let go of the past. It's time to let go of the hurt. Realize that your prayers have been answered. They are being answered right now, okay? All you have to do is walk away from fear. Walk away of feeling like a victim. Remove yourself from feeling trapped. And these are feelings, by the way. Feelings. And when you do that, new love is most likely going to come in it look and this isn't gonna you know the time is fluid all right so this may not be this week and it all depends on you all right it depends on you when you are ready to heal you have to heal before this lover's card comes into play okay this is healing before your wishes can be fulfilled you need to let go and heal from your past hurt. Oh, we had this one yesterday. Apparently you needed it. Now we're going to get, I think we're going to do one of these angel romance cards mm. this is for Taurus the first card is listen Quiet your mind, beloved one, and listen to our gentle reassurance that everything has been taken care of. Stay in a quiet and receptive state without worrying about the exact nature of your desire's manifestation. Your prayers have been heard. I told you that. Now let... The angels and God take care of the rest. That's what this says. I'm going to start over because I interrupted it. Your prayers have been heard. They've got this. They do. They do. Anyway, listen. Quiet your mind, beloved one, and listen to our gentle reassurance that everything has been taken care of. Stay in a quiet and receptive state without worrying about the exact nature of your desire's manifestation. A quiet mind and body hears us quickly and clearly. This is our request to you. Listen. And the next card is retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. This tells me that you really need to contemplate. You need time alone. You need time to listen to your inner guide. Take the time you need to heal, to listen, to trust, to have faith, and to let go. Take the time you need for yourself. When you work on your healing, which is by yourself, by the way, That's when this, if you're single, that's when this, this new love enters your life. So this week is about healing, okay? This week is about healing for you, Taurus. Heal your past. Look at people from a different perspective. Don't look at them you know, look at the, people evolve. That's what I'm trying to say. People change. Look at things from a different perspective. 
So that's what I have, Taurus, for November 20th through the 26th. And if you are from America, happy Thanksgiving.